recreating uh, Shraddha Kapoor's look from uh, Ok Janu Hamma Hamma song. If you guys have already uh, checked the song, you must have noticed that Shraddha has a very natural and a flawless look in the song. So that's what I have tried doing it with lots of browns and a blush pink lipstick. Um, if you like what you see, please keep on watching and uh, here starts this video. Hey guys, so before I start off the makeup, I'm just putting my hair stands like away from my face so that none of the makeup is really irritating me. And next I'm going to use my Oriflame primer and I'm just going to prime my face. So yeah, I have already moisturized my face. So it's actually a very good step before you always moisturize your face and then apply your primer and then your foundation because that's how your makeup stays longer and it does not really affect your skin. And also don't forget your neck when you're applying your makeup because neck is like most of the important parts because like when you're wearing some open tops your makeup would look good. Next I'm going to go ahead with my foundation and I'm just going to dab it on my face with my fingers and I'm going to blend it with the blender. So yeah also not forgetting the neck by the way <laughs> and this is like the my go-to foundation it's the lacme perfecting foundation one of the most cheapest and their first foundation which they came up with and that actually kind of suits the best and now i am kind of blend 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 right now my face might look a little white that's because of the sun it's, it's because of the actually sun rays and stuff like that but it will just uh once the light will be a bit minimum, it will just go away. Trust me on that. <laughs> this foundation is perfectly suits my skin. It's nothing wrong. And it's taking forever to blend, but we got to do that. Next, I'm going to use my Color Sense Concealer. And I'm just going to conceal my dark circles and uh, some of the spots where I need proper coverage near my uh, lips and stuff, stuff like that. So I'm going to do that. Wow, I look like an alien right now. <laughs> and right now, if you can see, I am not blending it. I'm actually rolling it and packing it. That's how I think I have learned how to use the blender. I'm just rolling it and I'm packing it. So I am not really... I'm just pushing the concealer in my skin so that it looks a little good. And I don't know why my face really looks very white right now. Anyways, I think it will be just fine. <laughs> Next, I'm going to use this uh, brow pencil from Maybelline and I'm just going to fill in my brows. So, since I have very thick brows and even Shraddha has uh, thick brows, I'm just going to fill in my brows. And fill in your, filling your thick, in your thick brows is like one of the most difficult tasks I ever. Like, look at the struggle. I am literally struggling and this all is like fast forwarded and I have not even added hmm, the other eye part kind of thing so yeah you get that right <laughs> so yeah and this is like one of my best go-to brow pencils yeah next i'm going to go ahead with my eye primer and i'm just going to prime my eyes since we are going to go with a very brownish and a very smoky look and i have like i don't even have eyes like it's so small they're so small next i'm going to highlight my brow bone with this maybelline diamond glow eyeshadow palette and don't worry everything uh, all the products will be listed uh, will be listed in the description box below so don't uh, worry about it next i am going to prime my eyes perfectly fine so that uh, yeah next i'm going to use my maybelline nudes palette and i'm just going to use the lightest shade of all as my transaction shade before i use the other shades on my face so i'm just doing this and i think using a transaction shade really gives you a, a very nice effect when you're using it next i'm going to go ahead with a little more darker brown shade and i'm just using it all over my eyelid next i'm going to go ahead with the chocolatey brown shade to give that smoky eye look like i'm not creating a smoky eye but i'm just giving it an effect of having a smoky eye which kind of looks very natural next i'm going to go ahead with my revolution palette and i'm using this chocolatey brown shade it's the similar shade to maybelline one but it has a little bit of glitter in it so it will just pop up your eye out and i'm just going to balance out everything and right now i'm just like uh, just dusting my face like that look show <laughs> anyways um next i'm going to go ahead with my nude uh 
kajal pencil and i'm just going to apply it on my eyes because i don't want to look washed away since we are not going to apply any kajal because even shraddha did not have anything so i'm just applying the kajal on my upper eyelids and that's a task because i literally cried i cried <laughs> So but since I don't want to look washed out because my eyes are way too small and that is why I'm kind of highlighting my um, brows like what what do you say highlighting my eyes is that does that even make any sense next I'm going to go ahead with my mascara and I'm going to use uh, the Maybelline hyper curl mascara and for my lower lashes I'm going to use the Maybelline uh, falsies mascara where you get the small wand yeah this one. So I'm going to use that for my face. I want the mascara to look really very big because since we are we have done a very minimum kind of a makeup on our eyes, we don't want to look like a zombie. Next, I'm going to use this um, Revolution palette where the con oh what what's it called contour highlight and blush are together like bronzer highlighter. Right now, I've just bronzed my face a little bit and using this blush, which is way too natural and flawless. And next, I'm going to go ahead with my highlighter and I'm just going to highlight all my important parts like cheekbones and my cheeks, nose, lips, whatever like all the highlight faces now with the same uh, bronzer brush i'm just going to bronze my face later once the makeup is done so to just give that face a cut and right now i'm just balancing out all the harsh um, areas with my kabuki brush with along with the maybelline compact powder so that just does not look really very harsh on my face and yeah this is the bronzer step i was talking about it will just cover up everything and just give your face that cut which it needs now i'm going to go ahead with the with this pink lipstick which is the oriflame gr rani gold in uh in fuchsia yeah in fuchsia i think yeah and since it's really way too dark on my uh, way too dark like according to shraddha's look i'm just going to blot it out with the tissue paper so that you don't need the excess amount just goes away and it is matte enough and that's it i'm already done with the look i'm just giving it some final touches <laughs> I really hope you guys liked this uh, makeup look. You can wear this tutorial to your home, college and everywhere where you don't really, where you just want a very natural and a flawless look where only the highlighter just tops and the blush pink lipstick just adds a little bit of drama. So I really hope you guys liked this video. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment, share and also the most important thing is please, please, please subscribe to my channel. It might be a very small thing for you but it will really mean a lot to me so please subscribe to my channel and uh, don't forget to follow me on all my social media handles the links are listed down below all the products used in this video will be listed down in the description box or on the window somewhere as always so i really hope you guys liked this video and this is the third time i'm repeating this sentence so i might just go bye guys <laughs>